years ago, I actually walked across the island and low tide, but then high tide came and I couldn't get back in because I can't swim. What the hell? So we are at Skeet Bay, St. Philip. So Fabian, this bridge not popped on? Oh. The bridge can walk on? This is not a bridge, it's jetty. So I guess I'm see we take, take the whole um, beach. It used to be a lovely little spot. When I was growing up, come on, um, beard, fish, drink some coke, not water. Sundays on vacation whenever but place run to ruin people. Um, yeah there's um up you see up in that area there is um they're building some condominiums up there that's out heading to cross the Culpeper Island. You can that you see the lighthouse in the distance at this ragged point lighthouse or east point lighthouse not too far in the distance beyond the trees and cliffs is um called pepper island this is this isn't the skit spear i know I walk on Skid Spear group coming to every Sunday or every day. The jetty? Uh uh. No. The jetty is. I'm gonna show you how the jetty looks right now. It's totally. Remember, remember coming here back in the day and just jumping off, even though I couldn't swim. But if anyone fall off here, if anyone fall off here, here now, I don't know how they're gonna get back to land in this thick sea moss. Why feels Freddy? It used to be so beautiful. Not a boat inside, in sight. It's nothing. It's no more skeezy bear. It's the sun in the distance. Growing up as a growing up as a young boy, these places used to be so awesome. Everything, a lot of erosion. You can see in the distance the walnut trees have um, dried out and dried down. Not much life to this small sparkler beach. Fish market and rooms also. Need some government intervention to get these markets and stuff and so forth up and running again.
this is what it used to be. Excuse me, a fish market. Unfortunately, now it's not much of a fish market. As I said, there are no boats in sight. <laughs> the beach is taken over by sargasm, seaweed. Everything is. I don't know. Seems to be a total devastation, total loss, nothing going on. Because normally this area is. Um, this is a part of a fishing village in the area of Bayfield where I grew up so a lot of fishermen, a lot of boats on the water what we call day boats meaning that that this used to be a bench see everything is completely turned over nothing place seems to be a sound of a room room I was just saying the um, yeah fishing village Fishing area, I had their boats. They were like, um, go up on the morning, come back in on the evening, so you would know that the fish will be fresh. Whatever fish you got from those fish, will be fresh fish because. So this is where the boats used to be? Yeah, they had a lot of boats on this area here, and they had five or six boats on the water. We still come down to this beach and the beach used to be probably a little further out is erosion erosion folks that's taken the best of this beach erosion has taken over people come people go because there's nothing there's nothing interesting about ski spear anymore even somewhat um, Kalpepa Island has lost its sheen of what it was years ago. But I don't know what government can do to bring back this place to its former glory. It's a, it's not a bad area, but ah, uh, the elements. And nature taking its toll on this, this lovely island and this lovely beach. Look, this grass here are really sweet. But what we do make of this color is soft grass. We used to like playing them. There's a lot of. And that way is a Copper Island? Yeah, Copper Island is right beyond here, about five minutes walk from where we are right now. I'll go up there. Yeah. You can't go up Kapapa Island. We take a short walk up Kapapa Island. So, guys, we're heading to Kapapa Island. <sighs> As y'all, you could hear me. I'm breathing very hard. Whew, it was a long day. Look at Fabian at the front. See they have a little construction right there as well but look at that view from right here guys wow so beautiful and the man still a what left me i'm all the way at the back mayor something like one monkey i'm not sure what they're building right here but something is building Hello, good evening. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful evening. All right. Say, so, man, I tell me, say, don't bother with Fabia. Let it go along and take him. Take him. <sighs> we finally reached Cold Pepper Island. It's just a little island on the in the sea. So beautiful guys. So so beautiful. Look at the view guys. See like they're make they're building more condos. 
What's well, so that, Fabian? They had on more, more uh, since the last time we came up here. Yeah, because yeah, last time it was only one. It's been a long time we haven't come to Bayfield. Wow. So call this little, why not so call this little, a little rock, um, alligator rock. Alligator rock? Yeah, because So where island there? Oh, sure. I thought this was the island, you know. Alligator Rock. Sorry, guys, that's not the island. That's got Alligator Rock. Let me show you all. Yo, these condos look good, man. They look real good. Got more than one. So, yes, guys, we finally made it at the Cold Pepper Island. Fabian, am I saying it's Cold Pepper? Cold Pepper Island. Whoa! So it's just a little island in the sea. Not too far off. It's not too far off. Uh, if it's low tide, you can actually walk across to the island. If it's low? If it's low tide, you can walk across. Oh yeah, because you can see the water not really too... No, you can, if it's low tide, you can walk across the island. Because years ago, I actually walked across the island. And low tide, but then high tide came and I couldn't get back in because I can't swim. What the hell? <laughs> so how you get back in? How you get back in, Fabian? I gotta jump in and try something to get back in. Wow, how I old were really you? I can't really swim, so... How old were you? I'm about 15 or so. <laughs> you you could see that you was very troublesome when you was I young. I swim, but I never came to sea alone. So it was a, one or two of us, but... You know, we could see we boys is every man for himself, so... So... Unless they're drowning. If you want to build a house right here on this little island, you, you can, can come. Uh, just joking, I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> But it's, it's a lovely area, but it's not as um, not what it used to be all these years ago. Not much. I people. guess things and times change. Not much people come and look at the island anymore. Not much tourists pass through be a feel at the island. But the yeah. area, but I just see the area is being redeveloped. Getting some condominiums and some beach beach um beach front properties coming in. So things and times so change. If you got the money, you can afford. Can buy one and just you got your lovely blue. I think we'll buy one in the future. No, how will it be? The closest beach should probably come by would be Kapapa Island, but I don't know, sargasm, seaweed, and stuff like that. But lower tide is perfect water, is you know, on a normal day, water is clear and green. Yeah, you can see. But now it looks kind of more fish. But what were there is um, the. There's Ragged Point Lighthouse. Oh, I, as you can see over there is what um the Ragged Point Ragged Point Lighthouse Ragged so. Point Lighthouse Oh, if you're standing here, you got a lovely view of the ocean So it's very, very peaceful and quiet area It's just a lovely view guys Lovely, lovely, lovely view This is where I grew up and this is where we should come So this is where Fabian grew this up This area regularly this is one of the places that he spent his childhood where he used to go swimming and have fun with his friends and family and, family and thing. So, yes guys, we hope you all have enjoyed this nice little tour of Skeets Bay and Cold Pepper Island. Yes. As Fabian said, it's not like before. I guess back in the days, things were different from now. People mm -hmm. tend to... A lot of tourists used to come here and things, but people tend to now do different stuff. Things and time has changed, I guess. So, yeah. So beautiful. One last look at the island.